If you love Natalie Portman and you love an easy vegan dinner, then this is the perfect video for you. What is up my wholesome lifers? Welcome or welcome back. We are making her favorite dinner, which is an easy chickpea stew, and it is gonna be so delicious. I'm so excited. This is my first time trying it, so we are gonna try it together. Let's see how it goes. First thing you wanna do is finely dice two cloves of garlic. Then chop up one large zucchini until just diced roughly. This should be about two cups of zucchini. Next, I wanted to make the rice so that that gets cooking as it's gonna take the longest. I did two cups of rice with four cups of water and then just boil that until it's boiling and then reduce the heat to simmer. Then you can let that simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes until the water is all gone. Next, you wanna add a little bit of oil onto your pan. She recommends olive oil. I didn't have any, so I'm using coconut oil. And then just add in your garlic and zucchini at the same time. Then you're just going to kind of stir that up and until the garlic is fragrant, so just about one or two minutes. Next, you're gonna add in your can of whole tomatoes, your can of chickpeas that are already drained and rinsed, and then just kind of roughly chop the tomatoes with the back of a spoon so that they are in smaller pieces. Next, you're gonna add a teaspoon of salt. She recommends two teaspoons, but I just felt like that was a lot. So I'm just doing one teaspoon here. And then she's using crushed red peppers for spice. We didn't have any, so I'm just using some of my favorite hot sauce that I have. Then you're just gonna let that boil. And then once boiling, you're gonna reduce until a simmer and let that simmer for about 30 minutes. While we're waiting, make sure you're subscribed. And if you're enjoying this video so far, go ahead and like and comment below. Once everything is ready, it's been about 30 minutes. I basically just left it there, stirred it every so often. You're gonna serve it on top of your rice and then top with any fresh herbs you like. She recommends doing fresh parsley, but I ended up doing some fresh cilantro. All right, that was definitely super simple. It is kind of one of those like set it and forget it meals. It took about five minutes to put everything together. And then I just waited half an hour. I like stirred it a little bit. And now let's give it a try. Thank you, Natalie Portman. Let's see how your cooking is. For ease of recipe, I'm gonna give this like 10 out of 10. It was super simple, super easy. And for deliciousness, I don't know. I feel like maybe it's missing. Maybe I would like add a little bit more garlic or maybe a little bit of ginger or something. I feel like it's just missing something. I'm not exactly sure, but the flavor is really, really good. It almost tastes like a little bit too tomatoey. Like I would add maybe like some chili powder or something to it. I'm not sure exactly, but it is really delicious. And I'm gonna say eight out of 10 for in total. So thank you, Natalie Portman. Thank you for being vegan. Thank you for this recipe. I'm definitely gonna be adding it to my rotation of dinner meals. This is so good. And just the fact that you can like throw it together in five minutes is such a win. If you are looking for some other really easy dinners, then definitely go check out my easy lunch and dinner playlist. I'll link it here for you guys. See you there.